Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Cheryl with CNC. Are we there yet? As we track our way north to Alaska, we stopped over in Seattle for a few days. So follow our adventures, the adventures of CNC. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We booked our Alaska trip about a year ago and we're excited to be traveling with a group of 12. We decided to overnight into Hollywood because we're taking an early morning flight to Seattle. So we soaked up the sun in Hollywood before heading out to the cooler weather into Seattle and Alaska. This was the most beautiful arrangement of fresh flowers that we have seen and the prices were great. They ran between like $10 and $20 for these huge gorgeous bouquets. Starbucks is the original Starbucks opened in downtown Seattle, Washington in 1971. Features cheeses starts with fresh pure milk from local farms and they apply traditional methods used by cheese makers for thousands of years. Their cheeses are free of artificial ingredients making them just as delicious as the milk they are made from. In 2003 Kurt Beecher opened his first Beecher's handmade cheese in Seattle's historic Pike Place Market. 
it was my first time having cheese curd and the squeaky texture was a little bit weird but once I got past that I really enjoyed their cheese curd and I had the most delicious tomato soup with cheese in the world This was my second trip to the Seattle Space Needle in less than a year actually and the adventure, the excitement of going up in the Space Needle never gets old. The view from above was just spectacular and we were fortunate the day we were exploring Seattle we had perfect weather, it was sunny, clear skies, warm, we were super grateful for the weather. The tip of the needle is 60 stories, 605 feet or 184 meters. Now the Space Needle was built as the centerpiece of the Century 21 World's Fair, which was right out here in Seattle Center. Apparently it was supposed to be a mix of the Eiffel Tower, a rocket ship, and a flying saucer. The best way to explain that choice is it was 1962. Now we're just about up to the very top. Top levels are circular, so if anybody gets lost, just circle. <laughs> <laughs> now you too can enjoy the 360 degree views of Seattle, Washington. restaurant is constantly revolving 500 feet above Seattle. Chihuly, Northwest artist and most known for his work in glass, changed the landscape of this vital art form through pushing the boundaries of the medium. Dale hopes to give back to the region by sharing this exhibition with the world. Just as his artwork is woven into the fabric of the region, so are the many stories that we will share with you today. Hi, I'm Jeff Wright, the managing partner of the Chihuly exhibition. My family and I are very excited about the opportunity to bring Dale here to the Seattle Center. When we thought about the possibilities, Dale's name immediately came to mind. Dale Juhuli, 
an authentic Northwest artist who has shown his work throughout the world. And we are so happy to have him here. Hi, I'm Dale Chihuly. I'm honored that the Wright family invited me to exhibit my artwork. This exhibition means a lot to me because over the years, people have asked me what I always wanted to do. And I always responded that I'd like to design and build and incorporate a glass house into an exhibition. I'm excited that the day has come and that I'm able to share my life's work in the Pacific Northwest. I hope you enjoy the exhibition. Conveniently located right next to our hotel in Seattle is the Metropolitan Cafe and they have a little bit of everything. The Hilton Garden in downtown Seattle is so conveniently located to everything. It only costs us about $12 to Uber down to the Bayside or about $12 to get to the Space Needle. So it's really centrally located. Service is great. The manager bend over backwards to take care of us. We highly recommend this place. We use a virtual clinic for our COVID testing in Seattle. <laughs> this is the second COVID test after the first one was invalid. <laughs> and now we're going north to Alaska. Stay tuned to our Alaska series. Next week, we will be doing a tour of Celebrity Solstice our cruise choice for our Alaska adventure 
and listen to this. You won't want to miss this episode because you have a chance to win a cruise. Yes, you heard it right. You can win a cruise. So stay tuned to our Alaska series. Don't forget to like and subscribe.